How many film festivals did you submit to? Um, we've submitted to 14 film festivals and um, so far we've gotten into the ones that we've submitted to and um, that's what we're going to do for the next six months is just I'm going to tour with it and go to theaters and not only do festivals but also do some independent theaters and get it into some smaller towns where I feel like people really need to see it not just in big cities so I'm kind of doing what the what the musicians do. I'm going on tour. I'm taking my baby and I'm like putting the print on my back and like walking in and like connecting with people and doing it like old school style. Sure. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so of those 14 that you submitted to, what was the criteria? What kind of research did you do or just from being in the business you knew these were the ones? I think from being in the business, I just knew what festivals I had a lot of respect for. I knew what festivals I wanted to avoid because it's mostly just about who's in your movie and how big your budget is, and I'm just so not into that. So um, I'm really happy that we premiered at Dances with Films because they're just they're just purposely independent and ha always have been. So they don't do a red carpet, they do a green carpet. It was just perfect for me. So it's lining up perfectly. Like all the festivals that I'm doing, I'm just really happy to be a part of them. For other filmmakers, what should they look for when they target a film festival? Should they look for that sort of the perfect audience fit with their movie? I mean, if they're doing some type of a, a documentary about people in Nairobi, should they really try for some of these more glitzier festivals or what sort of something they should do behind the scenes to make sure it's worth submitting for their film? I think you have to be very selective when you've made a film because it can get very expensive, like submitting to festivals, I mean, all your press materials, all your entry fees. Um, I think you need to use your intuition and not just go for what you think is the glamorous festival because those don't necessarily get you the most attention or the most press which is what you need for your film. Um, you know lots of times these bigger festivals it's about what name is in your film and who's who's battling to, to purchase it and you know you just wanna you wanna pick festivals that relate to your subject matter and if it's a festival that's known for documentaries then go for that if it's a festival known for you know um, dramatic features like just do a lot of research read a lot of books um, I think research is key